and since this is the M50i model with over 500 horsepower, we know the first thing you want to see is how this car drives. Now let's check out how fast this X6 does 0 to 60. Now we have 4.3 seconds times, but people are claiming that the car is actually even faster than that. Now to get the launch control in all modern BMWs, you have to follow a lot of steps. First thing, you have to put the transmission in the S mode, you have to turn the traction control all the way off by holding this button for 3 seconds until this menu pops here, and you have to put the car in Sport Plus setting. Then you have to put your left foot on the brake all the way down and step on the throttle. BMW X6 M50i is a really really brutal car to drive, you have so much power and torque and the car actually feels faster than the BMW M5 that we tested, this is because the torque is lower down in the rev range so you get it instantly the moment you press the throttle. The car is very very fast and has a lot of muscle and even the sound is not bad for a V8, you know with the, all the new DPF filters that the car has, but of course the sound is enhanced in the coupe from the speakers as it is the case with all modern BMWs, still it sounds pretty good and you actually get a nice rev range all the way to 6000 rpm. The 8 speed ZF transmission is flawless as always and it changes gears so quick that you cannot even follow them. The only thing we kind of didn't like that the car is set really sporty so the ride is pretty harsh when you go over road bumps and imperfections. Hey guys and welcome to the new episode of Full Throttle. Today we will show you one of the most attractive and most controversial BMW models. This is the brand new BMW X6 in the M50i version. The BMW X6 is the first SUV coupe on the market and whether you like it or not you can deny its success. Now both Mercedes and Audi and even brands like Renault are starting to create their own models in this range. The BMW X6 is one of the most successful SUVs of BMW and it's created the BMW X4 and the X2 which are the SUV coupe versions of the regular SUVs. Now let's see what's under the hood of the new BMW X6 M50i. Here we have the 4.4 liter V8 petrol engine which is the same you find in the BMW M5. Here you get 530 horsepower and 0 to 60 time of 4.3 seconds. The maximum speed is 250 km but that's limited and the car can actually reach a much higher top speed. What's interesting is that the X6 M model will have the absolutely same engine but in the competition trim it will have 625 horsepower. Now beautiful definitely isn't the first word that comes to mind when looking at the new X6, however the model does have a very aggressive and badass look which is one of the main reasons people like it so much. Here in the new model we have the brand new BMW laser lights which are actually much smaller than the ones on the previous model and give the car this new and aggressive and modern look. Of course the big news on this model is that the grille here is illuminated in the dark which a lot of people hate but I think it looks kinda cool especially in the dark. We also have this special color here which is a bit of a bronze and grey which is special to the M50i model and you only get it on this one and the M50d model. And of course this, this is an M package model, we have these changed bumpers in the front which are lower and give the car a more aggressive and sporty look. The first thing you notice on the side of the BMW X6 are the massive 21 inch wheels which are part of the M Sport package. You also get big M brakes and big discs because this is a performance car which is very heavy and you need real stopping power. Of course you get these special chrome mirrors which are part of the M50i package and make the car distinguished from the other BMW X6 models. And here is the main difference between the BMW X6 and the X5. The cars are actually the same, but BMW has finally learned how to incorporate this scooped roofline and at the same time leave enough headroom for the passengers in the rear seats. The first thing we notice on the back of the BMW X6 is this big air vent which is unfortunately fake. We also have this spoiler up here which is kind of small and BMW could have made it a little larger. And you also get another spoiler up there which is actually important because this is a car that can go over 250 km per hour and needs serious aerodynamics. And one of the coolest things about the new X6 is that you actually get 4 real exhausts which is becoming more and more rare in the industry nowadays. And of course you get the M50i badging here so people know this this is not a regular X6 and you have these brand new tail lights which actually look kind of cool especially in the dark. 
Unfortunately, modern cars are starting to sound worse and worse with the new DPF filters and the new regulations. This also means that the new BMW X6 doesn't really sound very good. But now let's check out how the car sounds. Apart from looking sporty and aggressive, the new BMW X6 is actually a pretty practical car. You have 580 liters of boot space, which means this car can load up a lot of items. The only problem is the boot starts really high, so you have to actually lift everything in order to put it here. We also have this part right here, which you can fold in order to increase the boot space. And this is the first car we ever saw that actually has suspension on this panel right here, which means that it lifts up automatically. The new BMW X6 has one of the most gorgeous and sporty interiors that we have ever been in a long time. The combination of this beautiful white leather and this carbon fiber trim makes the car extremely luxurious and sporty at the same time. You also get the brand new BMW iDrive touchscreen system which is amazing and the brand new BMW Digital Dash which has updated software and now looks even better. You get this new BMW steering wheel which is very thick and you get these metal paddles which actually feel very good to use. Overall there is a lot of space in the interior and everything looks very beautiful and it's very easy to use. In the back of the new BMW X6 is a much better experience than the one in the previous models. Where in the first generation of the X6 there was only two seats in the back and there was absolutely no headroom and knee room, here in this new model the situation is much better. You get adequate headroom and even knee room for tow passengers and you also get a lot of extras such as this climate control here with two vents, you get a USB-C port and you get this hook here where you can attach an iPad or a tablet which you can watch during your drive. Overall here you get a lot of space and it's actually much better than most SUV models, so BMW has done a very very good job to make the X6 more practical. As part of the white leather package you also get these white seat belts and this multiple headrest you can actually adjust to fit your head. As with the BMW 8 series and the X5 you also get the crystal gear shifter. If you're scared from the coronavirus, the BMW X6 has ionization which actually refreshes the air that comes from outside the car. You also get two fragments and you can even adjust the level of their intensity in the car. The BMW X6 is one of the most controversial models of the brand, but whether you love it or hate it, we can't deny just how good the car is. It's big, practical and luxurious while remaining an absolute beast on the road with an amazingly powerful V8. So the third generation of the X6 is the best one we've ever had.